Hey guys, so I'm in the basement working on a project that I thought you guys would like to know about. It's a model engine. I'm getting into metalworking, so I'll show you what I have done. So the engine I'm trying to make right now is an inline twin. Uh, the pistons are 180 degrees apart, and you can see where the two pistons, the cylinders will be. So let me show you that. What I'm going to be using are Cox 049 cylinders. So again, these are really small. You can see the size of that. I got some, I guess they call them mufflers for it. So one will be there. And then I have another one. That will go there. And the actual engine itself is just shy of three inches long. So that's a back plate. Not finished yet. That's going to slide right in there. I'm working on the crankshaft right now. So this is the output. This one's just about done. I milled the piston relief. So that guy will go in there, and I'm, I'll show you how I'm doing these cuts. I have the other side of the crank on my mill, which we'll get to later. And I can show you what the pistons look like. Little guys. And something pretty cool that I found were uh, little spark plug type boots that you can put on top. This engine's not spark, it's glow ignition. So you can just put that guy on top. And another cool part to make this engine RC is a really small carburetor. And any of you guys that are into model engine building, if you want to take on this engine, you can buy the Cox 049 cylinders, this carburetor, and a bunch of the other Cox items um, from the company based in Canada that bought out the leftover supply of um, Cox. And I'll give you guys the link on the video in case you're interested. And the engine itself is actually called uh, Jerry James Hex 2. I'll put down his link for his website in case you guys want to try this engine by yourself. So forgive me in my really messy workbench. I have to get up to cleaning it one of these days. But here's my milling machine. It's an X2 for the, those of you that know. Uh, I have my part mounted on a small machinist vise and I'm just slowly making passes down my part to get to the finished dimensions. So it's always a good idea to stop and take measurements of your parts so you don't take off too much material. Uh, so I have a height gauge on my mill and I'm going to zero it on the top of my workpiece and then I'll be able to move it lower and get a reading of how much material I took off. So I'll just touch it off the top of my workpiece. I'll zero it. I'll come back to the part that I'm taking material off of. Lower it until it touches. Now spin the height gauge around because I don't have enough room to look at it properly. I am looking for 0.200. 
and I still have a good ways to go. Alright guys, so let me know what you think about this build if you want to see more. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and here's another look at the engine.